Oh my god, I'm in a vlog! Yes! Dumplings. Oh. Dumplings. Oh. I have a lot of them. Oh. Any frozen? Yeah. This is my bedroom for the next week. I need to make it mine though. So you're probably wondering where I'm at right now. I'm actually at Red Door TV and so long story short, I know I said I wasn't going to move in. I'm still not going to move in. Only for this week. It's just for fun um, because we're still waiting for two, two or three members to move in and so the Red Door house is a little bit empty and so Marco was like, hey, why not? move in for a little bit just for fun you know just to like make the house feel a little bit more warm so I pretty much just moved all of my necessities plus a plant and some plushies because those are necessities and here I am and I'm gonna be here till probably Friday you know what I'm still not used to talking or vlogging in front of my friends so even though my door is closed and I'm pretty sure they can barely hear me I feel really awkward talking and that's why I'm like slightly whispering um, but yeah I've never lived in a community setting like this um, I never lived in a dorm or anything like that 
So the closest thing to living with people is with my own family. And so I thought this would be like a good experiment to see if I liked it or not. I keep telling people I don't like it because I am a highly introverted person and I don't know how I feel about having a shared space with people and that's kind of why I'm curious. So let's see how this week goes. I don't know how often I'm going to talk to you guys, but um, this will be interesting. Can we do, can we do like a core conditioning? Can we do a hard one? Have you done like 12 minute core conditioning? So hop into something comfy and let's get started. This is the perfect music too. <laughs>
friends who do stuff together. You is for you and me. Did you guys watch my dog? And it's dirty, come on! There's literally like five things in here. <laughs> come on, I need to run the dishwasher. Run but out. I already washed it all. <laughs> oh. 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 What the f to show you the power of Photoshop. This is the original image, and this is what I ended up with. If you put it side by side. The power of Photoshop. <laughs> I hope you suffer. I drove to Taco Bell and I realized I didn't have my wallet on me and I spent like 20 minutes in the parking lot trying to figure out my Google Pay and see if I can order online but for some reason it wouldn't input my credit card information so I just ended up ordering Taco Bell on Postmates in the parking lot like 10 feet away from Taco Bell everyone's gone too, they went to work out so I am the only one in this house. Now that they're gone, I might as well talk about my experience since I have the whole house to myself. Um, I actually initially thought that I would really dislike living with other people because I thought it would be like constant, just like fooling around and like not getting anything done or just like no privacy or no space. But I realized that like there's a lot of space. Like everyone just like if they're if they're dead tired, they just kind of lock themselves in their room and it's actually more quiet than I expected it to be so yeah never say no because I was like so against moving in but now it's like, now it's like maybe no, I, I still need my own studio so I can't really move in it was fun and I'll probably sleep over sometimes Forget about her. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mine 
mine's legit. <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> Dang, I thought that was cool. Nope. But now you have your laugh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Man, this is so much nicer. <laughs> Suck it. I just finished all of my post-it note designs. This is an old one. Um, it is my strawberry one. And then I have this tree stump one. And I'm also going to make this toasted bread into a post-it note. So I'm going to have three new designs plus the old two that I used to sell, which is the mushroom to-do list and the woodsy to-do list or the woodsy post-it note. I did a lot of work today. I'm very proud of myself. Good morning. Um, it's Thursday today and I submitted some designs last night and they already got back to me with the proof. Here is the proof. I have three designs and they pretty much just go in and like crop off the bleed which should be around like 0.3 inches usually around like each edge. Um, and so far I think it looks pretty good so i'm gonna just submit it i bought like 500 of each design um, but i also got proofs for my patches that i made like last week i feel like i put too many details on the tiger so i'm not going to show you the tiger one because there are some bits that i have to adjust just because the patch is too small and the details don't look good so I need to change that up a lot. Um, for the other one, I just need to change the colors of some parts, but it turned out like this, and I think it's pretty cute. But yeah, so I just need to work on that. Um, have to get some Pantone colors.
Today is the day of the Keston lunch, which is really exciting because we've been working on this for like a few months now. And I am awake really early to make sure everything looks okay. This is the photo we're posting today. It's the whole collection and I'm kind of nervous. I think everyone's nervous when they, uh, when the collection goes live. So let's be nervous together. Also, I made this printable yesterday. So this printable is for Patreon and they're just kind of like these little corner bookmarks for books. Um, so pretend that this is like the page that you want to mark. You just like slide in and then close the book. And I made one of Mimi the skunk, which is the little ceramic skunk that I thrifted. And she's wearing a hat. charms up earlier so that it's ready to go at 9 a.m. It looks so cute. So the front page has this like really big banner and then you click in and then, oh, it looks so cute. See this is how clean I aspire my website to look. Like this website is a nice website. I like this website. you about our sponsor for this video which is Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you don't know who Skillshare is, Skillshare is this online learning community where you can take a bunch of classes ranging from illustration, design, to sometimes even like brewing coffee. There's also photography and a bunch of other creative classes on there and I personally love Skillshare because it's a great way to learn at home when you want to maybe add on extra classes on the side to further your growth in whatever creative path you want to go on. I've been using Skillshare since I was in college and it's honestly still a great place where you can find artists that you admire that teach classes on there. The first class that I recommend you guys taking is called Transition into Illustration, Breaking into the Industry by Onmar. She pretty much breaks down what it is to be an illustrator and she also shares a lot of things like her story, her journey to where she is right now. And she also talks about income streams and she breaks down how much she gets from every revenue source. I think this is a great class for if you're first starting out and you don't know where to begin and what to think about, but this is also really good for people that are already established illustrators and you just kind of want to see how other people are approaching illustration as a career. The second class I recommend is called From Paper Cutouts to Digital Collage, Finding Inspiration in Shapes and Colors by D. 
and she just honestly has such a whimsical colorful style and paper cut is something that it's very interesting and it's like a very different way of creating art the first thousand people to click on my link in my description can try out skillshare premium for free and after that it's only less than ten dollars a month and it's very affordable for all the things you can learn on there so thank you again skillshare for sponsoring this video